Alright, so this is going to be a completely unscripted video I'm going to do, but it's just a clarification and slash guide on how to flash pre-compiled firmware for my TCU that I've been working on. For all the beta testers and people who are eventually going to get their TCU, I figured I'd put this video out there as a bit of documentation. So first of all, at the current state, the config app and firmware are pre-built whenever I push changes to Git via GitHub Actions. So we'll do the first one, which is to download the config app. I'll leave all the links for these in the description. So first of all, we go to the main repository for Ultimate Mag 52, go to the Actions tab, and find the most recent um, action which is completed. You'll see the ones with a tick next to them have completed successfully, meaning there is a build available. So we'll click the first one here. Now you'll see there's an app image and a config app exe here. The app image is for Linux as slash Unix uh, systems and the exe is for Windows users who wish to run the config app. So as I'm on Linux, I will download the app image version. And we wait for that to download. Okay, now that the uh, config app has downloaded, we can drag that into a temporary folder and extract it extract the app image on the inside, which is this app image for Unix users. Again, with Windows, you'll get an EXC instead that you download. And we'll just execute this. Ooh, no, I cannot open this apparently. I need to make this executable as program in GNOME, or you could just launch it in a terminal, whatever. But anyway, double clicking it reveals the config app itself. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select my uh, TCU. In this case, it's available on dev TTY USB zero. I've got it plugged in via USB right now, and we'll launch the configuration app. Then we'll go to firmware updater tab over here. Now, it wants you to select a binary file first for you to actually flash the TCU with. So let's go ahead and get that. Again, we're going to open up the browser and go to our firmware repository, go to actions again, and then followed by the most recent commit, which I've pushed. Again, you can have a look for different commits if like, for instance, the most recent build, you're noticing issues. But again, this is development. It tells you here the branch. Uh, the ones on the dev branch are basically not unstable, but they're testing changes that I'm submitting to testers to test with. If there's an action on the main branch, so this here dev would become main, then that basically implies it's a stable change that you can flash without issues. But anyway, we will go ahead and click the most recent one. And you will see here, this time there is three different firmware types available. So a very quick rundown of the different firmware types. EGS51 is for cars with the TRRSS um, uh, analog shifter module. So cars like the W210 will have this, the earlier ones. Uh, I believe the very late W210s actually have the CAN bus based shifter. So any car with the CAN bus based shifter will have EGS52 or EGS53. You need to remember which one your car has. General rule of thumb here is if you're on a 211 or 203 chassis or anything of that generation, you're on EGS52. Even if your module says EGS53 because there are some late 211s which came with the EGS53 hardware module but ran the CAN layer of the EGS52 module. So we're basing these firmwares based on the CAN architecture of the car, not on the physical module itself. And lastly, EGS53 is anything from the W204, W212 generation and newer. So for my car, we'll go ahead and download the EGS52 firmware. And now that that's downloaded, we'll again go ahead and put that in my temporary folder and extract it to here. Now you'll see here there is a firmware.elf and a firmware.bin file. Firmware.elf is for debugging purposes, and you do not flash this in the config app. It's mainly for me to access any core dumps uh, if a TCU crashes and debug it with that. That's all that that's important for. What you actually want is the firmware.bin file, which is here. So we're going to select that file. We're going to go to home, uh, not home, sorry, documents, test, config app, EGS52, and select the firmware.bin file. And then after that's done, it tells me the compile time of that and the commit, but you can double check the commit is the same, um, which it is in this case. You see version 0FB17A6, and you can see here, the commit number here was 0FB17A6 on the uh, action. So now all you need to do is you just need to press flash and the TCU will update itself. Um, note that if you're running this in the car, you need to have your engine off and the car in neutral for this to work. But if it's on a desk, you can flash it however you want. And then once it's done, 
the TC will automatically reboot itself. And just for peace of mind, especially if you're playing around for dev firmware, I highly recommend you first of all go to configure ve uh, vehicle slash gearbox, read configuration and make sure that your settings are still stored as they should do. This is for my E55, well, no it actually hasn't, so there you go, see, you need to select petrol and write configuration, um, but this is all okay for, um, there you go, now it's correct. Now it's correct for my E55 and we'll go back and the last thing to do is to go to your map tuner and reset adaptation data. So just do that and adaptation data reset okay. And again, I can quickly read the maps and stuff from that, but that's fine. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you this video was uh, useful and uh, any questions, just pin it down in the comments. Beta testers, specifically for you, if you guys have any issues, you know where to contact me on Telegram.